So what's the tenth? If you have five or point five, sorry, moles of chlorine at six hundred and fifty-five tor and three point five liters. Okay, well if you want to do it that way, cool, but I do it like algebra. Which I guess that kind of is algebra, but I put the numbers in and then move them instead of moving the formula. I don't know, I'm kind of okay. OCD that way. Um, but how do you know this is ideal, first of all? Because it has moles. It's the only one with moles. So I automatically do the pervert nert. And then I just plug in the numbers. Where's my P? Oh, I can't even use my P here. How do I change the 655 tor to ATM? Divide by 760, so that's, I'm sorry, what? 0.861. I would just do 0.86, but if you put the one in there, then you're more accurate than I am. Okay, so that's the number that I'm going to put in here. Volume. What number do I put in for volume? How do you know that? Liters is volume. N? Oh, oh, where did you get that? I was looking at the R. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, okay. I was like, wow, I don't see those numbers at all. <laughs> okay, R now, 0 0.0821. Now you're going to be a tenth off if you forget this zero. I think I told you last time why you have to put a zero beforehand, right? I didn't tell you? Shame on me. Like here I have 0 0.5. In um, the medical industry they came back on teachers because pa nurses were giving patients 5 of something and it should have been 0.5 of something. Because if you write this they ignore the decimal, whereas if you write 0 0.5, then it's like, hey, there's a decimal here. So I'm kind of OCD about that now, too. <clears throat> but I can see how that could cause someone to forget this 0 here. And then we're missing T, which we're missing T anyway. T would be like X for algebra. Just put a K there saying I'm missing the Kelvin here, whatever floats your boat. Then I just multiply them together, like algebra. If you have two parentheses next to each other, that means multiply. So 0 0.86 times 3.5. 0 0.5 times 0 0.081. In this case, you shouldn't round to the end. Now I have a, a very, pardon? Where, oh, okay, yeah, good. Thank you for pointing that out. Um, this R right here is the gas law constant. And every time you see R for the ideal gas law, you put this number in. And I should show, I'll, let me, remind me when I'm done with this to show you how they got that R and how they get the label for R. Okay, so this is now like a basic algebra problem. This would be like doing 3 equals 4x. Like, how would you do this? What do you have to do in algebra? Get the t by itself and on the top. It's already on top, so now I get it by itself. Right now it's 0 0.0411 times t. So in order to get it by itself, you do the opposite. So right now it's multiplying, so I have to divide by the same number, because if you take a number divided by itself, cancels out. So then I'm left with t on this side. But what I do to one side, I have to do to the other. So I have to divide this also.
And then what's, hmm, this is kind of tricky. What is temperature label? What's the label though? Kelvin. That's what's the tricky part, because with temperature, we don't have thermometers that measure that specifically. So I, usually for temperatures, I don't. I wouldn't have this be a choice and then have 73 also be a choice. You know what I'm saying? Like, get your answer, then see what choices you have. So you would just round it? Yeah, my answer on the test would probably say 73 Kelvin. But you should always have two numbers after a decimal except for temperature. You don't need it. Caleb, did you have a question? Or? Yeah, so it's always Kelvin when they are going to look for T for that problem. Yes. For gas laws, pressure is always ATM, temperature is always Kelvin, volume is always liters. I can ask for, like, if the question specifically says, well, what is that in milliliters? Or what is that in millimeters of mercury or in PSI? Or what is that in... Oh, I'm sorry, this would have been Fahrenheit or Celsius, and this would have been millimeters of mercury or PSI. Then do the problem with these, and then as a second step to the problem, change it to the an what the answer is asking for. But in order for them to, in order for these formulas to work, it has to be these labels. Okay. So you can work the problem and then convert. And then convert at the end. Okay. Yep. This is one of the reasons why basic algebra is a prereq for Chem 100. Will you do one of those problems? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> right. 